Premier Doug Ford has said that we are now, I guess as of uh, June 12th, restaurants, patios are now open. Uh, you can meet in groups of 10 now. We're almost out of this. That, we're almost out of this. We're basically in the the final stretch of uh, of these of well, this pregnancy. Becky is 35 weeks as of Friday, June 12th. I mean, if you if you don't know about babies, women typically go 40 weeks. I think is 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 what they say. 39 weeks, 40 weeks. We're looking at uh, with twins. They say they want you to go to 38 weeks. So we're kind of in that that home stretch right now. The other night, Becky was was sleeping, and I was just here in the studio working, um, and I. Heard her make a sound, and I thought, "Holy smokes!" Like she, she sounded like she was in pain. And Becky delivers, Becky delivers in in record fashion. She with Ezzy, um, our, our third daughter. It was like the moment that that her water broke. We had like a baby, like an hour and fifteen minutes later. She pushed twice, and baby came out. I mean, Becky's is basically like super mom here. So she makes having babies look super easy. I think I could do it if, if I were a lady world roles reversed and I was pregnant. Because of how easy Becky makes it seem, I think I could do it. Uh, comment down below if you think I'd be a better, if I could deliver better than Becky. <laughs> so we're in the final stretch now. Delivery to me, it's the same feeling as when there was like a test due in elementary school or in high school. Not a test due, when there's homework due. And like, a, let's say like a big, big chunk of, of work was due. Delivery is, is like that, where I know it's going to be super stressful. I know it, there's going to be something easy about it, but at the same time, it freaks me out. We, we've gone through midwives uh, for all three children. We, we have midwife now. Shout out to Val, Ottawa South. Hey, babe. I'm I'll just... Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Becky Carlton. Look at this baby. Look at these two babies here. It's like you've never, you've never been this big before. No. How do you feel? Very tired, <laughs> sore. I can't imagine. I was just, I just made the point that. Here, why don't you sit? Why don't you sit down? So I'm just making the point that I think roles reversed because you made this pregnancy seem so easy. Mm -hmm. I think I could also do delivery. I could also do babies. Is that, is that true or not? Uh, I would be skeptical. I won't confirm or deny. <laughs> I think I can do it. You've just made it seem so easy. Like you've been such a graceful. Like you just you carry like grace and and like you're still chasing the girls around. You don't really chase them. No, I waddle. Around. I think we're all excited for these twins. Yeah. But I'm just saying we're we're in the we're in the home stretch now. I know it doesn't. It in some ways it does feel like, and yet it doesn't feel like it because of how much changes on a weekly basis. How much these. Because right now they're both about five pounds. Um, as of a f well, last week, baby A was about four and a half pounds, and baby baby B was about five. That's by the way what we're naming them: baby A and baby yeah. B. <laughs> we ran out of ideas. <laughs> we can't agree on names. <laughs> yeah, they're basically we test subjects now. We used the ball on our other three. <laughs> yeah. We were just talking to a guy who had, he had twin boys with his wife, and she delivered at 34 weeks. No, 28. 28, that's right. And they were, they were two pounds each. Yeah. Very I mean, that's scary, early. right? I mean, yeah, yeah that's, that's too early. So yeah, theoretically speaking, we could really go, you know, anytime after 34 weeks, you know, the babies aren't in danger at that point, but obviously the longer they stay in, the more they have a chance to But I mean, look, like, like, to look at you just in front here, I mean, it doesn't look like you're pregnant at all. Yeah, it does. Not that much, <laughs> but when you turn sideways. Yeah, no, you definitely notice it more when I turn sideways. We can't both be in the kitchen at the same time. No. With no. my butt and your belly. <laughs> can't do it. No. Too much. It's not <laughs> Stop it there. So let me know in the comments who you are going to see first, which one of the uh, which one of your friends you're going to see first. Uh, also, let me know what restaurant you're going to be owning first. Probably for me, it's going to be two six eight down in the down in uh, Preston, Little Italy, here in Ottawa. Patios only, I guess, is how it's working out. But let me know where you're going to be going. I can't wait for things to be open. Also, practice, you know, all the things. Don't be licking poles and you know doing any unsanitary things. <laughs> I hope you're not that person. Let me know what you are going to be doing.